Uh, okay. Howdy. Uh, right now, I'm going to share uh, a little personal history uh, of me um, about this is my this is going to be my testimony of how I came to believe in God. Uh, what made me change my mind all of a sudden? Uh, because I was not always a Christian uh, till I was uh, 34 and a half years. I uh, believed in atheism. I, I was an atheist. I believed in science. Uh, I was educated scientifically. Uh, I went to the university. I went to uh, I done chemistry. I have a bachelor degree in chemistry, and I studied some 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 higher chemistry. I didn't finish them all, but okay. I studied physics uh, in Groningen and, and, and chemistry, uh, uh, master of chemistry in uh, in Utrecht, uh, uh, University of Utrecht. Um, but what made me change my mind uh, from an atheist, from being an atheist, to becoming a Christian, a creationistic Christian? And believe that the Bible is true. Um, well, that, that that that's not said in one sentence, so it's it's a, it's a story. And th this story really happened. Whether you believe it or not, I don't care. That's that's your thing. If you don't believe me, fine. I don't care. I know what happened to me. Um, so I'm I'm going to share you a little of my private uh, life. What made me uh, from being an atheist believe I believe I used to believe in the evolution. I used to believe that, I, I remember even that as a small child, I looked up in the, in the, in the encyclopedias and drawing all the, the, the evolution from, from little tiny cells to, to, to dinosaurs and humans. I, used to re, I, I remember that I even draw it with pictures, uh, etc. Um, so even my family today, till the present day, uh, the 23rd of uh, uh, August of 2012, they still don't believe in 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 uh, in, uh, in God, uh, as far as I know. Uh, I spoke on them recently, but uh, as far as I know, they still are atheistic people. My own parents, my my mom and my dad and my brother, they are still atheistic people. They don't want to believe. Okay, what ha what happened? Well, in in my early days, in my younger days, I had some supernatural experiences. Um, there were if, if, one of them is is that if if you sit in a large room with filled with people and uh, uh, um, you are uh, gazing at some something uh, just all of a sudden you are gazing and uh, just just mindlessly gazing and uh, 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 are staring and uh, all of a sudden the person who you are staring at uh, uh, without uh, you realizing it turns his head and looks you straight in the eye. Well, how can that be? Another issue was uh, uh, what what is um, if you if you have a, a pet, a pet, dog, etc., and um, and you and you're very close with that pet. Then if you leave, then that that dog when you return uh, is is. Uh, is knowing that you are returning even when you're not in sight. Yeah? How does the dog know that these kind of things? Um, also uh, uh, about tsunamis, etc., and animals with tsunamis. There are no animals in hurt in a tsunami if, they have, if, they, if they're not bound up, tied to a tree or something like that. And they, they run off before a tsunami hits the land, something like that, things like that. So there are many uh, personal experiences that I have had on on a, a, a spiritual level, on supernatural level. Uh, also, that sometimes I had a, a a feeling of that this and this is going to happen, or that or that person is going to meet, and that really happened. So there are some uh, uh, things that that on spiritual level happened to me, which made me start thinking. Okay. Then I went to 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 a university, studied physics, and I was thinking. I, I know these features, I know these things, that they, they are real, and I know this. So I had always had something, there must be something more. But I, as a scientist, as, as a physics, uh, physics student, 
I try to reason this with science. Oh, well, okay, humans are, are, are they have uh, spines and they're electricity things so, and they, that irradiates magnetism, magnetism and so, so they, they, they might uh, uh, communicate with magnet fields and because of their electricity uh, 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 things and, and et cetera. Uh, so that's, that's my thought. That was in, in the time that I studied physics in, in, in Groningen. Was in the 90s, uh, 1990s. Um, so uh, uh, um, I developed and, and uh, I talked to people. People talked to me. So, 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 uh, uh, okay, Christians uh, uh, talked to me. They came to, to our house, uh, so some, some Jehovah Witnesses, and they told me about the Bible and things like that. I said, well, I don't believe it. And well, uh, science says this, and so, so how can you say the Bible is true, and so on. So I challenged them, and, and uh, uh, I spoke to them. My parents didn't like it that I <laughs> brought them inside. But okay, I was curious. And um, then uh, I went also to paranormal uh, 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 affairs, and said, uh, because I, I knew something was, was, there was more. So I, I was, was looking at those places, but I said, wow, this is, uh, this is, this is, this is, I don't believe that uh, stuff, kind of stuff. So I started searching and so on. And there were some uh, uh, programs on television which, which really made me think about it. And it was uh, in the years uh, um, 2000, 2000, 2004. In, in that period uh, uh, when I was really uh, um, looking for, 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 hey, how about it? What, what's the truth about it? And... Um, I was touched by some, some programs that, that uh, deal about God and, and so on. So, okay, but, okay, from science, I know that there can only be one truth, whether we know it, yes or no. Whether I know that truth, yes or no, there can only be one truth. If I take an apple and I let it fall 10,000 uh, uh, times, I always get the same result. It moves to the core of gravitation, in this case, to, to the bottom uh, where we live on. Uh, because below there is the core of gravitation. So no matter how many times I do that experiment, it's it, it always kind of the same result. Yeah, it's always moving down. So I thought to myself, okay, and not only that, but, but if I uh, perform other experiments, I always get the same results. Yeah, so that, that told me, okay, there can only be one truth. Yeah, what it is, okay, uh, a Dutch scientist, uh, Robert Dijkhoff, told us uh, recently that uh, we only know, uh, human to the totality of what humanity knows about 4% uh, of uh, what there is to know, whether that's true or not, uh, it's just an estimated amount. So uh, and an if individual can maybe know uh, a tenth to 10% to, to ten, ten of that 4%, I estimate. So the rest is unknown to us. So, uh, um, but even that, even then, I said, okay, if I apply physics laws, then it always results in the same results. So based on that, I thought, okay. But I, of course, I heard a lot of religions, and I've studied some uh, uh, Buddhism. I studied, and, and uh, uh, also about uh, what is it? Um, Buddhism, a little Hinduism, uh, uh, Zen. I studied some stuff. And, uh, but everybody told me, well, there is, there is a God, and, and the Muslims tell it, the Jews tell it, the Christians tell it, the Jehovah Witnesses tell it, and everybody's telling there's a God, but everybody makes up their own story about it. I said, man, the, the Muslims have the Quran, the, Bi the Christians have the Bible, the Jews have the uh, Torah, and, and, and uh, the Hinduists have the Bhagavad Gita, or whatever kind of book, and the Buddhists have the, their kind of stuff. I said, oh man, Apparently, everybody is making up their own story about the spiritual truth. So I said, okay, I said to myself, apparently I cannot trust people on this issue. Then I said to myself, okay, if God is factually real, a real existing person, if he's true, if he really, really exists, whether I know it or not, whether I can test it or not, whether, whether I can prove it or not, if he truly, really exists, then he is the only one who can give me a correct answer. I cannot trust the Christians, I cannot trust the Muslims, I cannot trust the Buddhists, I cannot trust the, the Hinduists, I cannot trust the Jews on this, etc. I can trust nobody except the one 
if, if he is there, the one who is there himself. If God is really there, I can, I can only ask him for revealing me to open my eyes for the truth. That's the only thing I did. Okay, God, if you exist, please open my eyes for the truth. What's the truth? Who are you? What do you want from me? And what's, what's it all about? That's what I did in 2004. And um, then I, in that same period, I used to be married to another woman than I am married now. That other woman uh, 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 brought in our family our first Bible. I started reading that and I, I was praying and God, and while reading, God opened my eyes. Bang! This is the truth. And bang! Edgar, you're a sinner. You're a terrible guy. Yeah? It, it was, I, I cannot explain it, but it, it, is, it is supernatural that was, I got insight about it. Yeah? And I knew, well, this fits like a puzzle to all that has happened in my life. Yeah? So I, when I was reading, I said, man, this, this is true. I cannot deny it. This is true. Yeah? So I started reading the Bible, starting to understand it, and God opened my mind. Only he can do that. And that's what people call a re being re uh, reborn. Yeah? He opened my mind. I asked him, okay, open my mind. Show me the truth, what, no matter what it is. I mean, if, if it's this or this or that, I, there is only one truth. And two parts of the same truth, truth is true. Two parts of the truth can never deny them. They can never contradict. So if it's scientific truth or spiritual truth, they can never be in contradiction. It cannot be. Yeah? So they can only confirm each other whether we know it or not, but this part of the, the truth, the scientific truth, can never uh, contradict the, 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 the spiritual truth. Yeah? The physics and the spiritual truth must be in line with each other. Truth can never contradict itself. Yeah? There are only lies try to contradict. Yeah? Only lies uh, the, uh, contradict truth. But truth, two parts, if this is the 100% truth, then this part of truth can never contradict this part of truth. It must be in line with each other. It must confirm each other. Well, and uh, that's uh, slowly, after half a year, I became a, a Christian in uh, uh, um, um, July 2004. And that's about eight and a half years uh, ago uh, right now. And uh, uh, I found out, God also showed me that I have been lied to by science. Science says, well, you, you come from a fish and a bacteria and so on, so on, so on, so on. God showed me it's not true. Scientifically, it's not true. And that, that's what I'm is ever since. I, I became outrageous angry, angry uh, because of that. Because I have been lied to many, many, many years before that. Yeah? So God showed me creationism. In the first place, via Kent Hovind, a great guy. I don't say I agree all, all uh, what he says. Great guy, but he sh God showed me, God opened my mind for creationism. He led me on the path of creationism. And ever since, I studied creationism and etc. And I started to do my own uh, uh, um, investigations, research, uh, uh, etc. to prove that indeed the scientific, the correct scientific part of science does not contradict the spiritual truth of what the Bible says, that God exists, that uh, the flood of Noah is true, the, 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 uh, the origin of earth, the origin of life. It does not contradict. It cannot, because it's two parts of the same truth. The thing is, there is somebody else who we call, say, who we know as Satan, who has... Uh, um, who has, uh, uh, how do you say, um, um, it, it, it's in his interest to fool people and to keep them away from God, from the spiritual truth. Yeah. Um, so, and even the lies, all the lies in the world to contradict the Bible and God, even prove that God is right. Yeah. Because there's so much propaganda 
to deny God, specifically God and Jesus, yeah, um, for people to to leave God and stick to false science. Yeah. So even even Satan proves that the Bible is correct by delivering so many false religions by putting lies into science, etc., etc., etc. That's what I found out during the years, and I studied the Bible, I learned the Bible, I learned creationism, I studied creationism, etc., etc., etc. But this is why I'm doing this stuff, because not believing in God, I, I mentioned it before in another thing, not believing in God, not choosing in favor of God, is choosing for the lies, deceit, and, and all the bad stuff that is present. Yeah? And in the end, if you don't repent, you might end up in hell. That's not up to me. I'm not your judge. I'm not going to judge you. I never will. Uh, 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 and I try to, 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 to put texts that, that will never be, be judging about you or somebody else. I'm not judging. I'm not your judge. That's up to God. Yeah? Um, so, but you might end up in hell if you reject God. If that happens, whether that happens, that's up to God. It's not to me. But I warn people. That's why, because God loves you. Yeah, he loves me. And that's why God wants to open your mind. You can ask God himself, like I did uh, about eight and a half years ago. You can ask God. Do it with an open heart, open mind and open heart. God is looking for you. Yeah, God is in, did his part. You can ask him. Yeah? I found out that God is true, that the Bible is true, etc., etc., etc. Well, this is a little personal uh, story about how I became a Christian. Okay, success. I hope you take it to your own good. Okay, bye-bye.